What's going on guys? Petey here. Today we're talking about tanks. Starting off with the Mac Daddy Heinz Golden Raya. Uh, he's $40. He has great bonuses uh, applicable to all tank units. This includes Stugs, Elephant Tank Guns, all those. Um, so this is, like I said before in the other videos, the Mac Daddy. $40, big price tag, but a must pick up if you're going to be running tanks. Uh, moving on. We have Stugs. Not even gonna try to pronounce that name. So we have two different Stug officers. Um, this is the first guy. He gives you a lot of HP uh, and a lot of really good stats here. Um, typically, you only use Stugs against buildings, so you got to keep that in mind. You're not gonna be really shooting vehicles or infantry with it, but it's pretty good stats. And I believe he is fifteen or twenty dollars. Uh, I already have him purchased. So I can't tell. The next guy is giving you that attack range that breaks the game. Um, as tanker, you already do get attack range from for your stugs if you tiered it up, but this guy can add an additional 10%. It really doesn't do much. If you aren't a tanker, then this is where the stug attack range really helps because you can out um, level 1 turrets and uh, level 1 towers, or any level towers. So this guy's really huge if you're not playing tanker. I need to pick him up. 10 bucks, pretty cheap. Next, we have light tanks. This guy is, is a must-have if you're running light tanks. If you're running tanker at all, he's a must-have. And if you ever see people mobbing around the map with 40 light tanks, they have to have this guy. 40% HP, 20% damage to buildings. Uh, he, he's just nuts. And then look at if you put him in a league, plus 70% transfer. Uh, he's pretty cheap too. I think I picked him up for 15 or 20, surprisingly. He's really, really, really must-have. Um, moving along to medium tanks. So there's two medium tank officers. You got George S. Patton here. He gives you 15% HP plus 30% um, versus armored, which is huge, for $10. If you're playing tanker, pick him up. That's a really good pick. That's if you want to run mediums, though. There are guys that do, and then there's some people that just stick to light lights. Or there's some people that tech right to Tigers. So if you do want to play with Shermans, uh, this is your guy. The next guy has really good bonuses as well. Uh, HP, building, vehicle. No, None against tanks, though. It's kind of interesting. But um, this guy's fairly cheap as well. 10 15 bucks. Moving along, we have heavy tanks, Tiger tanks. So this guy is going to give you plus 10% move speed and plus 20% versus armored. Yeah, uh, for ten dollars, very cheap. Looks like he's stoned out of his mind or something, going through some PTSD. But uh, he's a good pickup. Moving along, we have another heavy tank guy. Um, this guy has more HP, building, vehicle, infantry. Nothing for armor. I guess those two work work together to give you the plus twenties. But um, this is a fairly good officer as well. He's pretty cheap. Moving along to the King Tigers, uh, $10 will get you plus 30% HP, plus 25% building, 25% armor, a little move speed. It's a pretty solid pickup. I don't know too many people who run King Tiger tanks, but uh, if, you're, if it's up your alley, you can pick this guy up. Uh, the Moss tanks, um, I have seen these before, very late game, kind of interesting to use. But um, this is your officer for it, this is the only one. Aside from the overall all tank officer at the beginning, but yeah, pretty solid. Ten dollars cheap. And finally, we have the elephant tank destroyers guy. Um, plus twenty percent. He gives quite a bit. If you are going to use tank destroyers, this is your guy. I personally have never seen him, but I've said that before in another video, and someone's like, "I use him." Uh, so I guess I'll just leave it up to you. But that's it for tanks. Quick and easy. Um, we'll see you guys back here um, another time, man. Thanks for watching. PDL.